Hello, I'm Brian, and I'm here with Kronos 3, our mini animatronic dragon. And unfortunately, he's had an accident. His neck is broken. I was manually driving him around. I ended up slamming his head into his foot, and since these parts are made out of PLA, it didn't take much force to snap it. This brake is actually a good lesson in mechanical design, because it's important to control the motion mechanically if possible. If your robot can get into a position that's unfavorable, it probably will at some point. You can't rely solely on controls to avoid that. So one of our upgrades that we'll be doing to Kronos is adding end stops into all the points of motion. In addition, the older head servo motors we have are the older Dynamixel XL servos. We're going to be upgrading to the new 330s so we can take advantage of all the upgraded speed, torque, and better motion quality. We're also going to revamp the base. This time, we're simplifying into a single plate design, which will hold both the rock structure and all of the controls. We have a spare Pro Commander from a project we finished last year. Even though this is very overkill for Kronos, we're going to enjoy all the added benefits from Showforge and the Pro Commander. The old speaker we used wasn't the best quality. We're going to be upgrading the speaker and also using the onboard amp of the Pro Commander and we'll have much improved sound quality. For the body, we're going to be experimenting a little bit. Usually we'd make all the non-moving body pieces hard shell and develop a silicone skin just for the moving sections. For Kronos, that's the neck, the stomach, and the tail. But instead, we're designing a mold of the entire body, minus the wings and the head, and casting it into expanding foam. This will give Kronos a squishy body, plus it saves time on mechanical design to create complex transitions and connections. We've got a lot of exciting updates in store for Kronos, and we look forward to sharing those with you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.